My first one, Big Pimpin. Oh my God, the best video ever. Wow. Um, Why you say that? Why was Big Pimpin the best? It was to hip hop and it's one of my favorites too. I just wanna know what you think. I mean, it's, the song starts and instantly, anyone who listens to it is transported back to the first moment that they heard it. It's, it's a song that has become the set, part of the soundtrack of millions of people's lives. And in such a positive way, you know, not necessarily talking about the lyrical content because yeah. obviously some of that is a little sketchy. Um, I definitely, you know, kind of <laughs> put that in the back of my mind when I said <laughs> yes to this video. Um, because I mean, it's, it's Jay-Z and even then back in 2000, he was iconic and he was epic and the video was $1.4 million and it was being shot in Trinidad during 2000, like the carnival in 2000. It was... Carnival of the millennium, right? Yeah, people exactly. Think, people it, thought the world was gonna end. Exactly, <laughs> that's my point. That's my point, is that you didn't, no one knew what was gonna happen at that point. Every day seemed like a, oh, okay, let's treat it as a party because who knows if tomorrow's coming. Right. It was, as, as great as the video looks, it was 10 times more fun being there. It was, <laughs> when we were in Trinidad, we just had the best time. You know, we all pretty much knew each other. And, you know, when we rapped, Hype Williams had, you know, kind of like a plantation that they'd, hide, like they'd um, gotten for him to reside in while, while we were shooting the video. And it was massive and it had a pool and he had a chef and there was, it was just, it was like family. It literally felt like family, like a big, huge family outing with yeah. a little bit of work to do. Was that your first time meeting Jay-Z? What was Jay-Z like? To that was definitely my first time meeting Jay-Z and Dame and everybody else. Jay-Z was cool. Like, the <coughs> definition of cool. I remember getting into a conversation with him because I was in school at the time studying psych. And so we had a conversation about that and um, other stuff. And he's just the definition of cool, down to earth, great guy. Dame kept trying to pour champagne all over everybody. And I was like, come near me with that champagne bottle. We laugh about this now, but I was like, come near, near me with that champagne bottle. I'm gonna smash you over the head with it. Just an FYI, you know. <laughs> cool, um, knock yourself out, that video, Jadakiss. One of my favorite scenes in the video, the pool scene. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, well, Jay, that video was amazing too. It, I think about that video and several things make me laugh about that video. Um, the number, the thing that's most interesting about Knock Yourself Out is it was definitely um, a career defining moment and I had no clue that that's what it would be. Just figured it was another video that I was going to be the lead in, X shot the video. And um, that was at a time when uh, Jada Kiss's song, We Gonna Make It, was all over the radio. Everyone assumed that that was gonna be the video shot. Steve Stout, from, you know, when he was uh, president of Black Music over at Interscope Records, mm -hmm. he made the decision to make Jada's first video off that album, um, Knock Yourself Out. Everyone was just like, what? WTF, <laughs> like, question mark, huge. No one got the decision, but that's why Steve is as successful as he is because he made that decision and it ended up being so right. And so we went to Malibu to shoot the video in this incredible house and it was hot as Hades outside. It had to have been like 95 degrees so I felt like my makeup was like <laughs> melting off of me. Um, but it was a great video and what was really funny about the video God, I dreaded that pool scene. Oh my God, I just hate, I just didn't know how to do it. But X was like, trust me, Melissa, trust me. And I was like, oh, fine. Yeah. But um, what was really funny about that video was there's a part towards the end when Jada and I are, um, he's leaning up against the car and I'm hugging him and stuff like that. So right before the scene starts, <laughs> the producer and whatnot, they're trying to tell me, you know, so Melissa, feel free to like, you know, kind of go all in, you know, like whatever. I was like, oh, you mean like suck his face off and stuff? They were like, well, yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, that's not gonna happen. I was like, but I got this, don't worry. So I went over to Jada and I was like, okay, look, this is a little uncomfortable, but I have to say this. I was just like, um, 
if you would let me kind of control this scene, I'm gonna make it look real good. I'm gonna make it look like we are all in love and stuff like that. But I really need you to keep your hands like above my waist and don't go in for the kill because like I'm not trying to go home to a beat down. I got a man and I'm really, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to go through all that. He's like, I ain't mom, I wasn't gonna touch you. And so the whole time we're shooting this scene, all his boys, the, the peanut gallery, is in the corner like, yo, son, go in. What's your problem? He's like, I don't want a lawsuit. I don't want a lawsuit. That's funny. So it was, that was one of the, you know, really funny moments on set. Plus, Jamie Foxx came through. Yeah. And that, he's always funny right, to be right, around. Right. And um, it, was, it was good times. Mm -hmm. You know, really, really good times. It was shot July 4th, weekend, 2001. Yeah, Usher, last video. Ah, that was fun. I Was that one of your last videos? Or, or, I, I actually count that as my last video. It was shot in January 2004. Happy People was shot in March of 2004, but that was, I felt it was kind of like more of a cameo. Um, that's what X, X called it. I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> so, but Usher's video, yeah. Um, if I remember correctly, I wasn't even supposed to do it. I was just in LA at the time and I came down to set and X comes over to me and he has this smirk on his face and I know the smirk it's like you're gonna ask me how quick can you get video, ready you? <laughs> yeah and he was just like you know what I'm gonna ask and I'm like yeah um oh. all right what's the budget <laughs> nice my first question is what's the budget because nice. that that's gonna make me understand just what my paycheck is is going to be and don't lie um, <laughs> so we worked it out and originally I was supposed to be um, Ludacris's girl you know I was supposed to be positioned with Luda's part in the video um, but that didn't end up happening I ended up becoming the girl that beckons to Usher to right. follow her into the back <laughs> and that was yet another another instance where I was just like Okay, the camera's rolling, make it look real good, but mm, no, mm, we're not going to do any of this. <laughs> so, um, and of course he was incredibly understanding and respectful, so that was good.